of an African king named Asar, whose name was later changed by the Greeks to Osiris. Mm -hmm. So that symbol is the oldest symbol of resurrection known to man. And I might add, uh, Rock, that that symbol was developed in Africa, principally in Kemet, the countries that the Greeks renamed Egypt. That symbol is over 6,000 years old. And it represents a man, Asar, who was the founding father of, of Kemet, the nation of the black people. And Asar was murdered by his brother, his body was cut into a variety of pieces. Uh, one story says 14 pieces and scattered throughout the land. Asar's wife, Aset, who's known as Isis to the Greeks, searched throughout the Nile River and found 13 of the 14 parts of Asar's body. She laid each of the pieces out and literally remembered her husband, washed his body with oils, wrapped his body in bandages, and created the first mummy. She was about to bury her husband. She grieved as any wife would grieve because she was about to bury the man that she loved. She also grieved because, according to a story that is over 6,000 years old, a story with plenty of documentation that I see every year when I travel to Egypt, <coughs> Aset was also a virgin. And before she buried her husband, the spirit of her deceased husband, Asar, came and impregnated her. And then nine months later, the virgin Aset gave birth to this son, Heru. Now, according to some versions of the story, Heru was born 6,000 years ago on December the 25th. So we have within the story of the founding Paris of ancient Kemet, Asar Sen Heru, the fundamental story that would later be incorporated into the Bible as the story of Jesus. And to turn to a story about a God who comes forth to rescue them. Finally, Constantine decided to make Christianity the religion of the whole of the Roman Empire. Now we're coming to the critical period when the Roman domination of the church so corrupted the church, the Africans began some disenchantment with the Roman interpretation of Christianity. Constantine calls a council of bishops and priests at a place called Nice, it's the Nicene Conference. It is at this conference that the European created a European concept of Christianity. It was at this conference that they began to take the African saints out of the literature of Christianity. Now the corruption had started. The physical concept of Jesus Christ did not exist. Now how did it come into existence? Because the Pope commissioned it to come into existence. Michelangelo painted the picture using one of his relatives as model. And that picture, one of the finest pieces of propaganda ever projected in history, has changed the minds of millions of people as who's supposed to represent God, whoever he or she is, and I have no problem with the she. Spirituality is a way of accepting the fact that there is a spiritual force in the universe larger than all of mankind. But someone had to come along and invent a word called God. Then someone had to say of another God and say, mine is better than yours. And someone had to create faith. Someone said, I have the true faith. Religion is the organization of spirituality into something that became the handmaiden of conquerors. Nearly all religions were brought to people and imposed on people by conquerors and used as the framework to control their minds. My main point here is that if you are the child of God, and God is a part of you. And when you accept 
a picture of the deity assigned to you by another people, you become the spiritual prisoners of that other people.